Good day to all of you. Welcome to Weekends with Alex Witt. It is 1 o'clock right on the nose here in the east, 10 a.m. out west. We're going to get what's happening right now. Once again, to reiterate our breaking news, NBC is now able to make a call for the presidential election in the state of Florida and project Barack Obama as the winner there. Since Tuesday, Florida had three counties still counting absentee ballots, and their deadline was noon today. So once again, NBC News is now projecting Barack Obama as the winner in Florida, and that brings the total electoral college for the president to 332, while Mitt Romney finishes the election with two. 206. We're going to bring you more from Florida in just a bit. But now let's get to some new details about the surprise resignation of CIA Director David Petraeus. The four-star general admitted to an extramarital affair in his resignation letter to the president. Law enforcement officials tell NBC News Petraeus's biographer, Paula Broadwell, is under FBI investigation for improperly trying to access his email and possibly gaining classified information. Meanwhile, CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell will serve as acting director. And joining me now, Eli Lake, senior national security correspondent for Newsweek and the Daily Beast. Welcome, Eli. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, may I ask what indications there are as to, to what exactly Paula Broadwell was trying to do when she allegedly accessed David Petraeus's email? Well, at this point, a lot of the details are still murky and they are coming in, and Paula Broadwell has chosen not to talk to the media yet. But what the allegations are is that not only was she having an affair with the director, but that she was trying and she had uh, access in some ways to his personal Gmail account. That Gmail account is not the same as, his, uh, as the classified CIA email, but it can provide the kinds of details that would be extremely interested, interesting to America's adversaries, such as his travel schedule, uh, rumors about other sort of senior officials in the uh, Obama administration and other personal details of the director's life that uh, really would be a security risk if they got into the hands of, mm. say, the Chinese uh, military or things, something like that. Right. Um, Eli, at first it appeared that David Petraeus resigned as a matter of honor and respect for the CIA and his position there, but some are now saying that he was trying to get ahead of this FBI investigation. But would that change anything? Well, the question here becomes, was there another news outlet? Was there potentially another person who knew of this, who was either using this as blackmail or was prepared to come out with the information and Petraeus wanted to get ahead of that? Or uh, is this really what it, what it appears sort of coming out this weekend right now, which is that there uh, was a, an extramarital affair, which is bad enough for somebody who has had a distinguished military career, but it's complicated by the fact that he is the CIA director and that there could have been uh, concerns about it. I said before, his Gmail account or access to kind of classified material that would have been breached in that sort of personal relationship. Mm. So, you know, the view, general view of David Petraeus up until yesterday was really as an unassailable military leader. I mean, from both sides. Was there any indication from your sources that that wasn't the case? I mean, relative to what was happening here? Well, listen, I think that, uh, you know, great men can have great flaws, and his military reputation, for the most part, will, I think, remain intact, depending at least on how Iraq goes, and that will not necessarily depend on this uh, current scandal. But uh, anytime you have somebody of the stature of, uh, of a David Petraeus and uh, with the kind of career and senior government positions that he's had, both in the military and now in the CIA, his fall is going to be a major story. It does not necessarily in any way take away from his success and innovations uh, as a military. Leader. You know, what it also doesn't take away from is his ability to be familiar with the information relative to Benghazi. Do you expect that he will appear on Capitol Hill? I mean, what would prevent him from testifying as scheduled about the Benghazi affair? Right now, the word is that he will not be testifying, and Michael Morell, who will be assuming the directorship, will testify in his stead. But if David Petraeus is out of government, he will have far fewer restrictions on who he can talk to in the media and other other people in Congress than when he was the CIA director, where his congressional testimony would have been vetted in some ways by the White House. So uh, this may cut both ways. You may not see him next week in those closed hearings testifying on Benghazi, but he may uh, find at some other point that he is going to come forward and say what he knows or say what he thinks about it at some other point when he's just a private citizen. Okay. Newsweek Daily Beast, Eli Lake. Eli, thank you. Thank you.